Hey everyone, it's Haley here again with Real Time Animal Rescue. Today I wanted to share something with y'all that's very near and dear to my heart. It is my dog treat recipe, and this is my first time making it since the passing of my 17 year old soul dog, Lucy. Um, I had her her whole life, and she loved these treats, and I want to continue that legacy of her love through you all. So you can make these treats for your loved ones and these treats that I make, I'm going to share with my neighbors who have dogs. So I'm really glad you guys are here and I hope you make these for your babies in honor of mine. All right, everyone, to start the recipe, we're gonna mix up two eggs. And if you've been following along for a little bit, you might be familiar with this process, but if not, one egg is equal to one tablespoon of flax and three tablespoons of water. We need two eggs, so we're gonna do two tablespoons of flax and six tablespoons of water. Let's just set that aside and let it get all mixed together. And we're gonna take two cups of flour. You can use oat flour, whole wheat flour. Oat is probably best for this recipe. So there's half, one, one and a half, and two. Do you guys like my upgraded measuring cups? My mom gave me these quarter cup of water, Ooh, that's a big quarter cup. don't forget to make a mess, half a cup of peanut butter, make sure that your peanut butter does not have xylitol, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, it's a sugar substitute or additive it starts with an x it is very toxic to dogs make sure that your peanut butter does not have that ingredient natural is best to use but i always double triple check peanut butter before giving it to dogs to make sure it does not have that ingredient in it This is me quadruple checking. See, peanuts, vegetable oil, soybean oil, salt, molasses, and diglycerides, which is not the best, but we're keeping it real here. It's a treat. I would love to think that we could mix this with a spoon, but we might just have to get in there with our hands. I'm also going to add some crushed peanuts for texture. This is optional, you don't have to. Let's add a couple more. And our eggs. Let's just hope we can mix it with a spoon. Mm -hmm. The peanut butter is gonna make it hard to mix. Lucy loved these treats. Anything peanut butter or pumpkin, she just absolutely adored. Okay, I don't have patience, so we're just gonna do this the old fashioned way. If you have rings on, make sure to take them off before you do this. This is not coming together exactly the way I want it to, which happens. Um, so if that 
is the case, just add a little bit of extra water. It'll bring everything together a lot better. You could probably also add pumpkin to this and that would be really good. Okay. That's looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do is put this on my clean counter and kind of roll it out into a thin rectangle-ish shape and I like to go just a little extra step and I always did this for Lucy and it's okay if you don't want to do this I'm sure your pets won't mind but kind of lay it flat and I like to take a knife Cut the dough into little shapes. Just trying to do a heart. And you're going to have to re-roll a few times if you want to do this. If not, that's okay. But we've got a little heart shape. Cute. And I'm giving the majority of these to my neighbor, Brenda. She has a dog named Gypsy who is just so sweet. So let's see if I can write Gypsy's name. Lucy was a lot easier to write. <laughs> Oh yeah, perfect. Well, let's see if we can shape it into a G. I think we're getting somewhere. That looks pretty G to me. Just do one little, oh, perfect, look at that. There's our G. Reincorporate it. Make sure you don't have any Lysol or anything abrasive on your counters before you do this. I just clean mine with vinegar and water for this specifically, but I will go in with a kitchen cleaner after I'm finished. Here is my precious taste tester, Gypsy. She's so excited. Let's see what she thinks. So give me my treat so I can eat dinner. Sure. Oh, <laughs> what do you think, girl? Mm. Say that is so good. 